Blessed is our God, Trinity of love, and blessed is the dominion of our God, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. We claim this time for the worship of God. May God gather us from the four corners of the earth, uniting us as one body in Christ as we lift our voices in praise. You servants of God, your master proclaim and publish abroad his wonderful name. The name of victorious, of Jesus extol. His kingdom is glorious and rules over all. Our God rules on high, almighty to save. Still he is nigh, his presence we have. The great congregation his triumph shall sing, ascribing salvation to Jesus our King. Salvation to God who sits on the throne. Let all cry aloud and honor the Son. Praises of Jesus, the angels proclaim, fall down on their faces and worship the Lamb. Then let us adore and give him his right, all glory and power, all wisdom and might, all honor and blessing with angels above. Never ceasing and infinite love. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. A light in the darkness can extinguish. Since we live as people of the light in faith, hope and love, let us pray to the Lord. Into your communion, Lord, gather all creation. And with the cries of lament that rise from a world in travail, aching for redemption, let us pray to the Lord. Into your communion, Lord, gather all creation. With the traditional custodians of this land, the Boomerang and Wurundjeri peoples, and with all whose blood cries out from the earth, let us pray to the Lord. Into your communion, Lord, gather all creation. Con todos aquellos que soportan las heridas de un mundo corrupto y en él la curación y la renovación, recemos al Señor. Into your communion, Lord, gather all creation. With all who suffer with Christ under the weight of the sin of the world, those subjected to injustice and deprivation, those seeking refuge, freedom and peace, and especially at this time with Russian and Ukrainian mothers fearing and grieving for their children in the war, let us pray to the Lord. Into your communion, Lord, gather all creation. 全世界的老人, 孩子和体弱的人, 所有需要帮助的人, into your communion, Lord, gather all creation. 
with all who serve the earth and its inhabitants, with leaders, policy makers, activists, with workers, students, artists, and storytellers, and especially this week with Jeff, as he teaches English as a second language to students in Darwin, let us pray to the Lord. Into your communion, Lord, gather all creation. With each one gathered here in prayer, with our absent sisters and brothers, with our neighbours at St Joseph's Roman Catholic Church in South Yarra, and with the whole of Christ's church from the banks of Burrung to the ends of the earth, let us praise to the Lord. Let us pray. Into your communion, Lord, gather all creation. With God's faithful servants of every time and place, all our mothers and fathers among the saints who inspire us, guide us and encourage us. And especially this week with those who left us spiritual writings which continue to inspire faith and hope. With Julian of Norwich, Thomas Cranmer, Thomas Helvis, John Bunyan, Anne Steele, C.S. Lewis and Henri Nouwen, let us pray to the Lord. Into your communion, Lord, gather all creation. And with the faithful ones whose names we call on now. With these and the whole cloud of witnesses, all who have died in the hope of resurrection, let us pray to the Lord. Into your communion, Lord, gather all creation. Ngozi dirigi, chineke kere inye nile. Ngozi dirikwa unzukonke ipoko taranyi. The vacant, the vacant cross and the empty tomb vindicates your claim that the love which suffers is the love which saves. Send your Holy Spirit to call us by name and lead us home. Life rises anew from the parched earth as the heat relents and the rains return. The thought of a raging fire loses its fear and promises instead a place of warmth and rest. Send your Holy Spirit to call us by name and lead us home. You meet us on the road with hands still hold, but breath warm and conversation engaging. And though you go on ahead, you promise a companion to show us the way. Send your Holy Spirit to call us by name and lead us home. In baptism, we were buried with Christ and shared his death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead, so also we might live a new life. The Lord says, give yourself to me as those brought from death to life and surrender your whole being to me to be employed in doing what is right. For then sin will no longer rule over you, and you will live not under law, but under grace. O oh God, you have searched us and you know us. All that we are is open to you. We confess that we are entangled in sin. 
in your mercy, heal us and set us free. When we entomb Christ in the pages of history and seal the joy of the spirit behind the stone of our pride, Lord, have mercy, oh Lord, have mercy, Christ, have mercy, oh Christ, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, oh Lord, have mercy. When we dismiss the bearers of good news and are loath to touch the marks of truth. Lord, have mercy, oh Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy, oh Christ, have mercy. When we turn our backs on the way of freedom and trudge back to the bondage of the past. Lord, have mercy, oh Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy, oh Christ, have mercy. God of infinite mercy. We renounce evil, we claim your love, we choose to be made whole. Salvation belongs to our God. At the cost of his own blood, the Lamb of God has washed us clean. All who follow Christ can never be snatched out of his hand. Sisters and brothers, your sins are forgiven. Thanks be to God. Let us sing the praises of our God, whose mercy is so abundant and whose love for us is so great. For by the free gift of God's grace, when we were dead in our sins, we were saved through faith and raised to life with Christ.
sisters and brothers, no matter the bread we get, we still suppose follow within Baba God, yeah, and also. As the beast, so make we get to and follow Baba God's word. Make we careful, not go drop off from waiting to post save us. Lord, to whom shall we go? Yours are the words of eternal life. Lord Christ, your voice, so often strange and disturbing, opens our mind to the scriptures and sets our heart burning within us. Send your Holy Spirit upon us, that your word may take root in the secret places of our hearts, and may our truth to your glory. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Let us listen for the word of God. There was a disciple named Tabitha who lived in the town of Joppa. She was also known by the Greek version of her name, Dorcas. She was a very generous woman who never missed an opportunity to pitch in and do something for others, especially the needy. One day she got sick she went downhill quickly and in no time she was dead. The other disciples prepared her body for burial in the customary way and laid her out in an upstairs room so her friends could pay their last respects. Peter was in the neighboring town of Leda at the time and news of his presence quickly reached the disciples in Joppa. They sent two of their number over to Leda to ask Peter to come quickly and be with them for the funeral. Peter got up and went with them straight away. When he arrived, they took him up to view the body. The room was full of older women, most of them widows, who had appreciated Tabitha's care, and the tears flowed freely. Several of them began showing Peter the coats that Tabitha had made and the jumpers she had knitted when she was still with them. Peter asked to be left alone with the body for a few minutes, and when everyone was out of the room, he knelt down and prayed. Then he turned, looked directly at the body and said, Tabitha, get up. Sure enough, she opened her eyes, and when she saw Peter, she sat up. Peter gave her his hand and helped her to her feet. Then he opened the door and called in the gathered Christians and the widows and presented Tabitha to them, alive. Word of this spread like wildfire, and many people in Joppa put their trust in the Lord as a result. Peter spent the next few days in Joppa, staying in the home of a leather worker named Simon. Hear the word of God. We have heard it as silent. For the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the Revelation to John. Let us listen for the word of God. I had a vision of an enormous crowd, bigger than anyone could ever count. It was made up of people from every nation, from all the different ethnic groups, cultural groups and language groups. They were all standing together before the throne and before the Lamb of God. They were dressed in white robes and were waving banners and throwing flowers in the air. Their voices rose as one, an enormous roar saying, the life into which we have been saved belongs to our God, who is seated on the throne, and to the Lamb of our God. Around the throne stood the four awesome creatures, and around them stood the 24 elders, and around them stood all the angels. Altogether they fell to their knees before the throne with their faces to the ground, and worshipped God, singing, so say all of us, may glory and wisdom and gratitude and honour and authority and strength and every good thing be given to our God from now to forever, and so say all of us. Then one of the elders came and spoke to me, saying, what can you tell me about these people in white robes? Who are they and where have they come from? I replied, I'm not sure, sir, but you have the answers. Then he said to me, these are the people who have come through the ultimate atrocity. They have washed their robes as white as snow in the blood of the lamb. For this reason, they now have the privilege of gathering before the throne of God. And there in the temple, they serve God day and night. And the one who is seated on the throne provides them refuge and safe shelter. Never again will they go hungry. Never again will they go thirsty. Never again will they be burned by the sun or left exposed to any searing heat. The lamb who is at the center of the throne has guided them through the wilderness and will now care for them forever. He will wipe every tear from their eyes and guide them to crystal clear springs where the water of life bubbles up freely. Hear the word of God. We have heard the silent. For the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Let us acclaim God saving justice, attested by the law and the prophets, now revealed through faith in Jesus Christ to all who believe. Listen now for the gospel. Hallelujah. It is God's word that changes us. Hallelujah. The Lamb who is our shepherd wipes away all tears. And gives us strength to see us through the troubled years. Listen now for the gospel, hallelujah. It is God's word that changes us, hallelujah. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. John. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the middle of winter, at the time when the Jewish festival of Hanukkah is celebrated, Jesus was in Jerusalem. One day he was in the temple and as he walked through the part known as Solomon's porch, a group of religious loyal loyalists surrounded him and began demanding some answers. How long are you going to keep holding your cards to your chest? If you are God's anointed one, come right out and say it. Jesus answered, I've already laid my cards on the table, but you don't take what I say seriously. If you want to know who I am, then look at what I do, because everything I do is done on my father's behalf. 
You lot still won't believe though, because you're not among those who have had me as their guide. Those who have pick my voice every time. I know them well, and they know to respond to my voice and to put their feet in my footsteps. I give them life without limit, life they will never lose. No one can ever drag them out of the safety of my hands. Their care is the greatest responsibility of all, and my father has entrusted it to me. They can no more be dragged out of my hands than out of my father's. The father and I are one on this. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you for the gospel, hallelujah. It is God's word that changes us, hallelujah. Praise to you for the gospel, hallelujah. It is God's word that changes us, hallelujah. Blessed are you, O God, for the stillness at the heart of our land and the silence deck deep within our being. Blessed are you, O God, for the peace that streams from your risen Son, whose greeting of peace shatters our desolation and fills us with the terror of new life. In quietness we lay before you our fear and faith, from fear of staying still. O oh God, God, deliver me. me. From fear of surrender. O oh God, God, deliver me. From fear of decision. O oh God, God, deliver me. But from the fear that marks your presence. I, I beseech you, O oh God, do, do not, not deliver, deliver me. me. Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them the life of the world to come and they will never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. 
it's a funny image sheep usually we don't like being told that we are sheep it's not usually a compliment a bunch of clones mindlessly imitating one another following one another this way and that dumb conformity it's what those so-called freedom protesters were calling those of us who followed the medical advice and got vaccinated sheeple they called us and i got it i got it but when Jesus calls us his, his sheep, it's different. Why? Because he's identifying himself as the good shepherd. Being the sheep of the good shepherd is instantly attractive. Why? Because the implied alternative is being the sheep of the bad shepherds. Whether we are mindless followers or mindful followers, we want to be followers of the good shepherd, not the bad shepherds. Here in Australia, we are just two weeks out from a federal election. So tempting to preach some kind of comparative analysis of the various competing bad shepherds. <laughs> it would be easy for me, probably easy for you. We'd all enjoy it. We love focusing on the faults of the bad shepherds. We go through their Facebook profiles. We trawl through things they once said somewhere. We find the hypocrites, the unenlightened pasts, the trails of arrogance, of entitlement, of unrecognized privilege, of petty corruption. And we hold them up to ridicule. We gloat and we feel so good. We feel so good about being so good because nothing reassures us of our own goodness more surely than joining in with the exposing and castigating of others the worse we can make them look the better we appear we need someone to measure ourselves against and the nastier the chosen comparison point the closer to perfection we will seem at least in our own eyes so politicians are perfect targets but the feel-good path, the easy and tempting electoral season roast is not the path that Jesus is calling us to take. My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. There's nothing there about focusing our attention on the voices of the bad shepherds, nothing about being fascinated by them or gaining endless enjoyment from studying them closely closely enough to expose them, ridicule them, castigate them. My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. If we are to hear that voice and learn to follow that voice, we'll have to give our attention to that voice, not to the others, even if it's more fun and goes down well with a democracy sausage. But this is not a call to ignore the politicians or turn off to the election campaign to imagine yourself above politics. Jesus called himself the good shepherd in a place and time where that image meant the true king. It was an intensely political claim. My sheep hear my voice. They follow me, not Caesar. But there's no Messiah running in the current election. What are the sheep of the good shepherd to do? My sheep hear my voice. Whoever I might speak through, my sheep hear my voice. So listen carefully for the shepherdy voice. Don't be taken in by those who claim to speak for him. Many will come claiming to speak in his name. Don't fall for them. I remember last time around, there was a Baptist pastor running for the Senate. He was emailing me regularly, asking me to urge you all to vote for him. I read his policy statements. There was nothing that sounded like Jesus. More like old-fashioned colonialism, a hankering after the good old days of a strong empire and the unquestioned reign of European values. I emailed him a question. 
I, I thought it was a Jesus-y question. He wrote back and sidestepped the question and just urged me to urge you to vote for him so that there would be one of us in parliament. But parliament doesn't actually need more of us, at least not because they are us. Parliament does need those who hear the voice of the Good Shepherd and follow. But those who hear the voice and follow may not be those wearing the Good Shepherd lapel badges and the Good Shepherd bumper stickers and waving Good Shepherd flags. They may not even know where the voice came from. They just heard a voice, a voice that rang true and they followed it. I wonder if it's possible to be a follower of Jesus without knowing it. It seems to follow. We're called to be people of the way rather than just badge wearers or believers in an idea. Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. He says, I know them. He doesn't actually say they know about me. This is one of the problems with the proposals that our Baptist Union is discussing at the moment. They're putting up a statement of beliefs and saying that we are defined by our belief in those things. But from the very beginning of the Baptist movement, we've recognized that that's a failed project. The early Baptists saw the Catholics and the Lutherans killing one another over their statements of belief and concluded that that obviously wasn't something that helped people follow the Prince of Peace and love their enemies. They concluded that we would have to define ourselves by the way we do things, not by what we say, by our actual practice of listening to the shepherd's voice and following where it led. My sheep hear my voice and follow me. Sometimes we may not even recognize who the voice comes from. We just hear something that sounds true, life-giving, and we follow who hasn't had the experience of responding to a voice without knowing who it came from? To varying degrees, we all hear voices all the time. There are voices of conscience, voices of past memories, voices of vanity or, or self-doubt, self-loathing even. There are voices of fear or confidence, voices that question and criticise, Voices that encourage and motivate. Some of them are so loud and clear that they are almost indistinguishable from the voices of other people. Some of them have been carefully manufactured and fed to us by vested interests through a calculating media targeting. So that they will echo loudly within us. Others are so subtle that we're reluctant to even call them voices, hunches, instincts, gut feelings, inner promptings. When the prophet Elijah stood on the mountain and waited for the voice of the Lord, there were lots of big, loud voices, an earthquake, a cyclone, a bushfire. But the voice of the good shepherd was not in the big, loud voices. The voice of the Good Shepherd came to him in the whispering sound of sheer silence, and he covered his face and fell to his knees. To varying degrees, we all hear voices all the time. Some we dismiss, some we ignore, some we barely notice, some we strain our ears to hear in the whispering sound of sheer silence. Some make our hearts leap. Some ring true, some challenge and inspire, some we choose to follow, perhaps without even being sure why, it just seems right. My sheep hear my voice, I know them and they follow me. In the multitude of voices, how do we know which is the voice of the good shepherd, the voice of the risen one? The truth is that we can seldom know for sure, but it is something worth practicing. We're better at it together. When we discuss what we are hearing or feeling and listen to one another, we're more likely to get it right. Where two or three gather in my name, there am I in your midst, says the risen one, the good shepherd. 
But even left alone, we can learn from experience and get better at recognizing that voice. The voice that sparks hope within you. The voices that open your heart and fill you with compassion for those you previously regarded with suspicion. The voices that spark gratitude and inspire you to open your hands and share the gifts you have received. The voices that urge you to tear down the walls of hostility and resist the rush to blame and condemn, to build bridges of grace and peace. The voices that encourage you to be merciful to others and to yourself, to know yourself and others beloved liberated and invited together into the life and love of the age to come. These are the voices that are likely to be breathed into our hearts and minds by the Good Shepherd, the Risen One. And as we become more experienced at responding to that voice and see good fruit result, we learn to trust our judgment and recognize it more readily and confidently. We also get more practiced at recognizing the other voices, the subtly poisonous voices, the voices that diminish us or others, the voices that sow seeds of suspicion and division, the voices that dehumanize others and condemn them to hell, the voices that make us fearful and tight fisted. The voices that tell us that everything good, everything that matters is under threat and, there is, and it's someone else's fault. The voices that make us feel hopeless, defeated, useless, dissatisfied. The demonic voices. There are those who identify with the Christian brand name, who wear the t-shirts and bumper stickers proclaiming their allegiance to the Good Shepherd who nevertheless appear to have become mouthpieces for the voices of fear, suspicion, and condemnation. And there are those who don't wear the name and perhaps identify with other beliefs who nevertheless appear in word and action to be responding to voices that lead into the wide open spaces of love and life and grace. If you see those kind of people on your ballot paper, vote for them. If you meet such people working for common causes, partner with them. If you hear such people speaking words of grace and truth, listen to them and give thanks to them and to the good shepherd who is giving us life, whether we know it or not, the life of the age to come the life that is nourished here at this table and wherever the life-giving voice is being heard. To those who hear his voice and follow where it leads, they will embrace the life of the world to come. They are known by the shepherd. They will never perish and no one will snatch them from the safe and gracious hands of the risen one the good shepherd. We have heard the gospel proclaimed. To be able now to live it, we look to Jesus who says, all things are possible to those who believe. We believe, Lord, help our unbelief. As we declare the common faith of the church, let us sing our way onward into the life of Jesus, the life that lives and loves between the lines. We believe in God, the Father, almighty creator of heaven and earth. We believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose from the dead, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father, from there he will come.
come to judge the living and the dead. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. कसकाना हम मिले अन्य आई को विश्वास में अजो तरील भाई रा बसों किना बने सर गांव मां जनु भाई का परमेश्वर का पुत्र यीशु ने हमरा मान प्रदान पुजारी हूँ जा and all things are made in Let us pray for God's people everywhere and for ourselves in this congregation that the Holy Spirit may continue to open our hearts and lives to the grace and truth we find in Jesus our Lord. Your will be done, Lord, your love be shown. Your will be done, Lord, your love be shown. That we may be kept in the faith and communion of the one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. Your will be done, Lord, your love be shown. Your will be done, Lord, your love be shown. That we may follow Jesus with strength and calm, trusting God's strength in our own weakness and showing generosity and selfless care to all. Your will be done, Lord, your love be shown. Your will be done, Lord, your love be shown. Let us pray for the world and all peoples everywhere, that the world might be healed of its grievous wounds, that wars would cease, poverty, corruption and bigotry be eradicated and fear, disease and despair be overcome. Your will be done, Lord, your love be shown. Your will be done, Lord, your love be shown. The vulnerable and undeveloped nations might receive the aid and expertise they need to survive both old dangers and new and emerge strong, health, healthy and free. Your will be done, Lord, your love be shown. Your will be done, Lord, your love be shown. That the powerful and corrupt would be prevented from exploiting the world's current distractions to ransack the earth and prey upon the weak and forgotten. Your will be done, Lord, your love be shown. Your will be done, Lord, your love be shown. That honour and support may be given to mothers to those who long to be mothers, and to those who are grieving their mothers, that we may all share together in the task of nurturing the new family of Christ. Your will be done, Lord, your love be shown. Your will be done, Lord, your love be shown. That our political leaders might have wisdom, courage and compassion to see beyond mere economic management and build the infrastructure that will properly house, 
feed and care for all. Your will be done, Lord, your love be shown. Your will be done, Lord, your love be shown. That we might honour the First Nations of this land, seeking justice and reconciliation together and taking to heart their wisdom for how to live in this land with respect and sensitivity. Your will be done, Lord, your love be shown. Your will be done, Lord, your love be shown. That the most vulnerable in our society including those without secure housing or work, those suffering illness, trauma or disability, and those seeking asylum on our shores might be given welcome, support and hope. Your will be done, Lord, your love be shown. Your will be done, Lord, your love be shown. whom we carry in our hearts from around our world, world, around our nation and among our loved ones might be gathered into our prayers. Let us lift up to God the names of those for whom we would especially seek God's care. que podamos aprender a orar de la manera en que nuestro Salvador lo ha hecho. Por lo mismo, recemos como Él nos lo ha enseñado. We stand at the threshold of the ultimate feast when all who hunger will be fed and the new wine of justice will be poured. But even now, Christ invites us to his table to taste the first fruits and be nourished for the journey. Whosoever will may come, not because you are worthy, nor because any church gives permission, but simply because Jesus offers himself to you and you want to offer yourself in return. Come, let us prepare the Lord's table, offering the gifts that we are and the gifts that we bring. Béni sois-tu, Seigneur, Dieu de toute la création. Par ta bonté, nous sommes en communion les uns avec les autres et avec tous ceux qui espèrent en Jésus-Christ. Though we are a company of strangers, in approaching this table, we bind ourselves to one another to live in love and peace on this day forth. A peace with one another. The peace of the Lord. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And also with you.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. 亲爱的神，全世界的缔造者，生命之水的河流从你流出，因你的恩惠，我们才能分享这酒，植物的果实，人类的劳动成果。We are the body of Christ. His spirit is with us. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right to give you our thanks and praise, O God, for you are the Shepherd who guides us to springs of life-giving water. You spread out creation like a rich banquet. And forming us from the dust of the earth, you raised us to life and opened our eyes. You chose a people to be your flock, tending them with goodness and love. Your child Jesus came working in your name. You placed those who belong to you into the safety of his hands, and they recognized your voice in him. When he was cast into death's dark valley, you raised him to new life. Now he lives forever, shepherding all who look to you for salvation. You wipe the tears from our eyes and spread a table before us, so that we might feed forever from your abundant goodness and hunger and thirst no more. Therefore, with the whole realm of nature around us, with earth, sea, and sky, we sing to you. Con los ángeles y arcángeles que nos envuelven, con todos los santos que nos han precedido y están a nuestro lado, con los hermanos y hermanas, al este y al oeste, así como al norte y al sur. We sing to you. And with our loved ones when far from us, who stay in this mystery day near us? We sing the hymn of an ending grace. Holy, holy. Blessed are you, O God, who breaks open wide the tomb of our world, calls life out of death, and invites all the earth to the banquet, banqueting table of heaven. We bless you for Jesus, who in life and death revealed revealed your glory. Disarming the deadly powers of sin, as he suffered in his own body, the fullness, the full force of hell's bitterness and rage. We bless you for Christ's promise of liberty and life, proclaimed even to those imprisoned by the unyielding force of death. Breaking forth from the grave stronghold, he pushed back the stone, met us on the road as a beloved stranger, and awakened in us the hope that the earth will be saved from its enemies. Ascended into glory, he is everywhere present. 
gathering up all things in the surprise of new life and desire fulfilled. Blessed is our brother Jesus, who walks with us the road of our grief, as known again in the breaking of bread, who, on the night when he was betrayed, took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this to remember me. In the same way also the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it to remember me. Alors, toutes les fois que nous mangeons ce pain et buvons cette coupe, nous annonçons le mystère de notre foi. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. This karna yaha thauma ami jivan lai kushi manau chon ki mirtyu le nashta garna saudai na. Yeshu le saach karnu bhai go jivan. Sadapti Haruma Unko Samudaya Beach Rajun Aba Mahale Hamisama Sajo Dorilo Gordacha Made one with him and thus one with each other, we lay before you these gifts of bread and wine in token of our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. For here we offer and present to you ourselves our bodies, minds, and spirits to be a holy and continuous sacrifice to you. Come, Holy Spirit, come, come. Come and bring forth the life of Christ in this bread and this wine, making them true fruit, food and true drink for our deepest hunger and hope. Come, Holy Spirit, come, come. As bread is broken and wine poured, open our eyes to the risen Christ in the stranger and set our hearts on fire for justice and peace. Come, Holy Spirit, come, come. By the power which raised Christ from the dead, raise us, your fragmented people, and gather us into one loaf and one cup, that sharing in Christ's body and blood, we might be broken and poured out for the life of the world. Glory be to you, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God and Mother of as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Look, Christ is risen, bearing the wounds of the world, risen to feed his hungry people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look, Christ is risen, living water and new wine for thirsty hearts. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Holy things for holy people. Holy one is holy, holy one is holy. Praise of God. 
Let us receive what we are. Let us become what we receive. The The body body of Christ. Christ. Jesus, the wellspring of life, invites all who are thirsty to come to him. So come, receive freely. Let us raise our cups as one and taste the first fruits of the coming joy. The blood of Christ keep you in eternal life until he comes. With the meal finished, Jesus comes to us who denied him, daughters and sons of the earth. Do you love me? Yes, Yes, Lord. Lord. You know that I love you. Feed my lambs. Daughters and sons of the earth, do you love me? Yes, Yes, Lord. Lord. You know that I love you. Tend my sheep. Daughters and sons of the earth, do you love me? Lord, Lord, you you know know everything. everything. You You know know that I love you. Feed my sheep. Il Signore dice, Ecco, io sono con voi tutti i giorni, sino alla fine dell'età presente. When When you you need, we will follow. follow. Pilgrims on the way to the end of the age. age. 我会永远与你们同在，直到这世代的终结。Wherever we go, we will live our prayer, a community of your grace, with good news for all we need. Antibi, what be our winner on Nira? Did the cake get better at We will travel lightly, travel together. Our mission is love. The journey is long. Eaki. Estoy con ustedes siempre, hasta el fin del mundo. We travel with your authority, conforming to that that you alone. We go into all the world as opponents of evil, heralds of hope. Male, mo wem no nere unu ubo chinile, rue okugu oga. We travel with humility, no task is too small. We are your servants. Your cross is our compass. Your love is our sign. Behold, I am with you always, to the end of the age. We will follow you, even where faith and doubt blur into one. As we go out into the world, let us make it our first work to love.
In all we say and do, let us bear witness that Jesus is not a dead hero we commemorate, but the living Lord we worship. In this life, in death and in life beyond death, God is with us and we are not alone and death shall have no dominion. Thanks be to God. Go now, following the voice of the shepherd. Fear no evil, for God is by your side. Devote yourselves to the works of God, to words of mercy, to good deeds, and to acts of love. And may God wipe every tear from your eyes. May Christ Jesus be your shepherd and all that you need. And may the Holy Spirit tend you with goodness and love all the days of your life. Sisters and brothers, the Eucharist never ends, it must be lived. We go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ, Amen.